Welcome to part three of the residential heat pump water heater series. This three part series focuses on how to model heat pump water heaters serving a single dwelling for compliance with the 2019 energy code. This includes heat pump water heaters serving single family buildings, as well as individual heat pump water heaters serving low rise multifamily dwelling units. In this video, we will demonstrate how to model a generic heat pump water heater and a specific brand heat pump water heater using CBEC Res version 2.0. If you're looking for an overview of how heat pump water heaters work, please refer to part one of this series. And if you're interested in a demonstration of how to model heat pump water heaters in Energy Pro, please refer to part two of this series. When modeling low rise residential buildings for compliance with the 2019 Energy Code, the standard design for domestic hot water or DHW system Serving individual dwellings is based on the prescriptive requirement found in section 150.1 C8 and the proposed water heater type being either gas or electric. When the proposed design specifies an electric water heater, the compliance software sets the standard design to a generic brand heat pump water heater, which includes the following specifications. A NEA tier 3 heat pump water heater with a capacity of 50 gallons, a UEF rating of 2.0, with a unit located in either the garage or outdoors, depending on the climate zone the project is located in. Please refer to Table 24 and Chapter 2 of the Residential ACM Reference Manual for more information. In addition to the water heater specifications, the prescriptive requirement also includes a compact hot water distribution, or CHWD system, using either the basic credit or an enhanced credit depending on the climate zone the project is located in. Please refer to Table 25 in Chapter 2 of the Residential ACM Reference Manual for more information. When the project is located in either Climate Zones 1 or 16, the standard design for a heat pump water heater also includes a Drain Water Heat Recovery System, or DWHR system. Let's demonstrate how the input of a generic brand heat pump water heater works in CBEC Res. For this demonstration, we're starting with a CBEC Res model of a simple single-family new construction project located in Climate Zone 7, San Diego, California. First, we need to create a water heating system in the building tree. To do this, locate the condition zone or the first zone in your building tree and select it using the left mouse button. In our example, the first zone is labeled House. Once you've highlighted the zone, use the right mouse button to open the Options menu and hover over the Create icon. This will open the second options menu. Now select the DHW System 1 assignment. This action opens the dialog box where we name our DHW System. In this case, the default name, DHW System 1, will be fine. This is a user-defined name and you can name your system anything you'd like. I highly recommend using a simple name that's easy to identify for later purposes. Now select the OK button. This action opens the DHW System Data dialog box. You'll notice that the default CBEC Res name for this component carried over from the previous input screen. Go to the bottom of the dialog box and click the down arrow from the Water Heaters drop-down and select Create Import Water Heater and Insert Here option. This action opens a dialog box where we can name our water heater. Type Generic HPWH in the box then select the OK button. This action opens the Water Heater Data dialog box. You'll notice that our water heater name, Generic HPWH, carried over from the previous input screen. This dialog box will allow us to configure the proposed DHW system to a heat pump water heater. Click the down arrow next to the heater type and select Heat Pump from the drop down menu. This will change the screen display to the Heat Pump Water Heater options. Next, click the down arrow next to the NIA heat pump water heater brand input drop down and select generic from the list of water heater manufacturers. From the model drop down, select the UEF2 50 gallon option. The water heater category drop down should already be set to residential NIA rated, but if not, you can select it now. Before we finish creating our DHW system, we need to identify where the unit is located in the building. From the drop-down menu, you can select either the house zone, garage zone, or any other zone in your model where the unit is located. 
if your heat pump water heater is located outside or in an exterior closet, check the option in the box to the left. Now select the OK button. Now select the OK button again. Congratulations, you've just created a new DHW system with a generic heat pump water heater. Notice how the building tree now includes a DHW system component in the house zone. CBEC Res requires a DHW system component in each condition zone in the building tree. You can follow these same instructions to create additional DHW components to satisfy this requirement. If you click on the mechanical tab, you will notice that the DHW system component and water heater are listed in the mechanical tree. If you expand the water heaters folder, it will also contain the newly created generic heat pump water heater. To receive a compliance credit for a heat pump water heater requires using a specified make and model number unit, which must be listed on the NEA Advanced Water Heater Specification Qualified Products list as a Tier 3 or higher rating. Let's demonstrate how to input a REAM model number PRO H50 T2 RH 310 BM unit in CBEC Res. For the specified brand heat pump water heater demonstration, We'll use the same model and pick up where we left off from the generic heat pump water heater section. Since we've already created a DHW system in our model, we can just double click this component from the tree, which will reopen the DHW system data dialog box. This can be done from either the envelope tab or the mechanical tab. First, go to the bottom of the dialog box and click the down arrow from the water heaters drop down and select Create Import Water Heater and Insert Here option. This action will allow us to create a new specified brand heat pump water heater following the same instructions as the generic heat pump water heater inputs. Alternatively, you can create a new water heater from the mechanical tab by either creating a new water heater from the DHW System 1 component or by creating one from the water heaters folder. Let's create a new specified brand heat pump water heater from the water heaters folder. Once you've located the water heaters folder on the mechanical tab, right mouse click on the folder, then hover over the create icon and select water heater from the option menu. This action opens a dialog box where we can now name our water heater. Type Ream HPWH in the box. Now click the drop down arrow from the Copy Data From drop-down and select Generic Heat Pump Water Heater. This will copy the information from the Generic Heat Pump Water Heater and apply it to our new Specified Brand Heat Pump Water Heater. Now select the OK button. This action opens the Water Heater Data dialog box. You'll notice that our water heater name, Ream HPWH, carried over from the previous input screen. This dialog box will allow us to configure the proposed DHW system to a specified brand heat pump water heater. Next, click the down arrow from the NEA rated brand drop down menu and change it to Ream. Next, click the down arrow from the model drop down and change the model to Pro H50 T2 RH 310 BM. Now click the OK button. You will notice that a second water heater is in the water heater folder. We will need to assign this water heater to the water heating system. Double click the DHW system component from either the mechanical or envelope tab to reopen the DHW system data dialog box. Then from the water heaters drop down, select Ream HPWH from the list. When using a specified brand heat pump water heater, CBEC Res sets the demand response control to basic, which is the only option for controls at this time. Now select the OK button, and you've just created a specified brand heat pump water heater. This concludes part three of the series. Be sure to catch either part one, introduction to heat pump water heaters, or part two, how to model heat pump water heaters in the Energy Pro. If you have any questions regarding how to model heat pump water heaters, Either leave a comment below or email acetv at energycodace.com. Please consider clicking the like button if you thought this content was helpful, 
as well as subscribing to the Energy Kid Ace YouTube channel. Also, click the notification bell if you would like to be notified when new videos are available. Thank you for watching. <laughs>